Not to be forgotten, on the same stage with economic and social reforms, President Pakane continued with her agenda of realizing a peaceful reunification of the Korean Peninsula. The Presidential Reunification Committee on this Thursday held its very first meeting since being formed last month. Our Chi Gil reports on how this diverse group will prepare the way for what the president calls the bonanza of the future. The Park Geun-hye administration has placed a priority on economic reform in recent weeks, but has also shifted its focus back toward a unification drive with North Korea, an initiative that was overshadowed by April's very tragedy and the escalation of provocations out of North Korea. President Park on Thursday ordered members of a newly established 50-member special committee to draw up measures for building up infrastructure in North Korea and improving the lives of the North Korean people as a first step. The committee plans to conduct joint government and civilian research for unification and arouse greater public interest in the matter. President Park has said that a reunification of the two Koreas will be an economic bonanza for the peninsula and neighboring countries. During a speech in Dresden, Germany in March, she called for bolstering cross-border exchanges as a first step toward building trust between the rival Koreas and laying the groundwork for unification. The two Koreas have been divided for more than six decades following the 1950 to 1953 Korean War, which ended in a ceasefire, not a peace treaty. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.